today you will be inspired by the traditional end of belly houses and their bright colors and geometric shapes to create a village. Each of you will be making your own house to be part of the village inspired by this African tradition. You will start with a base color for the house, any bright color you choose. I have cut out some different roofs that are brown that you will add to your house and also um, be cutting some texture onto them. When you choose your roof and your color, go ahead and set the roof on top of that um, background paper and you'll just kind of trace the edges so that later on you can glue your roof on. I also have drawn in the door on mine and the side of my house. I'll set my brown roof aside, then I'll take India ink and a paintbrush and just outline the rectangle shape of the base of my house. These black lines that you'll create with India ink um, go with the tradition of the end of belly uh, patterns that are bold black lines. Then you can start to use the um, India ink to make different geometric shapes and patterns on the house. Um, you can fill things in. I'm using symmetry so I'm doing the same thing on each side when I am painting these different designs with the India ink. I'm using my paintbrush on its point so that I can make these lines and then anytime I want to fill something in I can use the second of my paintbrush with the India ink. Traditionally, um, the end of belly will use a lot of diamonds and triangle shapes when they are making these bold patterns. As long as you are wiping the India ink up the side of the cup, it should dry pretty quickly. Um, just try not to get um, big puddles of India ink. When you feel like you're done, you'll put your paintbrush in the paintbrush bathtub and set your patterns aside. You will then take your roof and accordion fold it. So fold it in small um, uh, half inch folds back and forth. Um, I use an oil pastel to add a little extra color on my roof. You could do this if you want to, but you don't have to. Then I'm just gonna cut skinny strips um, up my roof to give it some texture and kind of make it look like a straw roof. Um, make sure you don't cut all the way through because you do need to leave some space to glue. So I'm just cutting really skinny lines to give my roof some texture. Then I'll get a glue bottle, trace the top part of the base paper, and then I'll press my roof down and give it a little massage so that it is stuck on. Then once it is attached, you can cut out around so that you have the shape of your house. The final step is going to be to use some brightly colored oil pastels to start to fill in the patterns of the house. Try not to color over the black India ink in case it's not completely dry, but have fun with the colors you use and the patterns that you create as you finish um, painting your African house that you um, will be adding to our village. I can't wait to see what you create.